Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Some of the brightest engineers in the world are racing to make science fiction-esque flying taxis a reality. None are ready to fly you over Manhattan, but the more optimistic companies say they're getting very close. So guys, in today's video, we're going to show you some of the best flying cars currently in development. Without further ado, let's begin. Aeromobile's Prototype Slovakia-based Aeromobile remains committed to releasing a functioning, flying car it calls a supercar with superpowers. It's on its fourth prototype, so you know it's not joking. The company has plenty of concept art to show the car in its final form. It's one of the more notable hybrid models in the works, and we're not talking about a gasoline electric powertrain. Unlike true VTOLs, hybrid flying cars are designed to take off from a runway, like a plane, but also have the ability to morph into a car-like vehicle to drive on the road. This system requires retractable wheels and wings, along with a very efficient drivetrain. Aeromobile is funneling time and money into the development of an electric powertrain. It's notably joined forces with organizations like Starburst, an aerospace accelerator, to help it reach its goal. Airbus Vahana Project Vahana from Airbus seeks to create an electronic VTOL aircraft that is entirely self-piloted. There are a lot of advantages to the self-piloting model. It can save costs when it comes to hiring and training pilots, who typically expect a higher salary than a taxi driver, and software engineers already have plenty of experience creating autopilot systems for larger planes that can be applied to these VTOLs. It's also an ideal way to run a taxi service since the vehicles automatically return to centers for maintenance or take a different route based on current orders. In early 2018, the Bahana prototype had its first successful full-scale flight test. It wasn't much. The 20-foot aircraft simply rose 16 feet into the air and stayed there for 53 seconds. However, it did this entirely with the autopilot technology. Airbus has flown about 50 test flights since, and it said it was on track for a 2020 debut, but its plans might have changed. We're still waiting for an update on this project. Volocopter 2X The Volocopter 2X's design is ambitious, and it looks really cool. Developed in Germany, it features 18 battery-powered rotors controlled via a single joystick. We'd say that the whole thing isn't very practical, but the firm made a full-size test model and ran it across the stage at CES 2018 thanks to a little sponsorship by Intel. The 2X can carry two passengers. It has a flight time of 30 minutes and a range of 17 miles between charge centers. Intel's work on the project includes complex tech, such as four independent sensor units to control positioning, nine different electric battery packs with built-in redundancies, and even a parachute stowed on top of the vehicle in case something goes wrong. It's no wonder Volocopter is Dubai's latest pick for its upcoming air taxi fleet. Volocopter showed off the 2X by taking it on a two-minute flight above Singapore in October of 2019. Moog Surefly The Surefly is a robust VTOL aimed at commercial operators and consumers looking for adorable, self-controlled flying experience. It was developed by Workhorse, but the company sold its aviation division to Moog for $4 million in November of 2019 after multi-million dollar losses. Digital Trends understands that Shorefly's development continues. The aircraft has eight propellers and a top speed of 75 miles per hour. Unlike other VTOLs, it operates on gasoline and a battery pack will provide an extra 10 minutes of flying time if necessary. The initial version will be able to carry about 400 pounds of cargo, although a more heavy-duty version capable of carrying up to 650 pounds is currently in development. Both have captured the American military's attention. The Shorefly needs to be easy to operate. Just two controls are in the aircraft. A joystick to control direction and a throttle control on the pilot's door. If you're enjoying the video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos just like this. Ehang 184 When the Ehang 184 first showed up at CES, it seemed pretty impossible. A personal quadcopter VTOL that was fully automated, totally safe, completely comfortable, and powered via a basic touchscreen interface that anyone can use. Frankly, it all seemed like so much vaporware, with a bunch of claims that couldn't be substantiated. 
These days, Ehang is still making some pretty crazy claims. For example, it's hard to believe the company has tested its model more than a thousand times in all types of situations, including gale force winds with 500 pounds of extra weight and so on, as they claim. The only test footage available is decidedly more pedestrian. After all, this sort of thing has happened before. However, other details give us reason to believe that some version of the Ehang 184 will go into operation. Ehang has specified that each taxi will have a command center that will automatically ground the flying car in poor weather conditions and that the models are primarily designed to fly in basic U-shapes from one port to another, which sounds much more in line with what other prototypes are capable of. On the other hand, Ehang filed for bankruptcy in May of 2018. It called the move strategic and the company is still in operation. It filed a $100 million IPO in November of 2019 but it doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Jobby Aviation Air Taxi After spending years working on a personal aircraft, Jobby Aviation recently received a massive cash infusion from the likes of Toyota and Intel that provides $100 million to create an electric air taxi. In December 2020, Jobby announced it's acquiring Uber Elevate, the ride-sharing giant's flying taxi unit. Jobby's VTOL aircraft has a range of 150 miles and a top speed of 200 miles per hour. Six electric motors power the flying machine, which can seat up to five people. Jaunt Aviation Helicopter Airplane Hybrid Newcomer Jaunt Aviation teamed up with the Triumph Group to develop a flying taxi that looks like a cross between a helicopter and a plane. The company plans to address one of the main concerns associated with helicopters noise. Using proprietary technology, the aircraft reduces the speed of its main rotor while flying to remain relatively quiet. Jaunt might not be a household name, but it's one we're watching. It has forged partnerships with some of the biggest companies in the business. Aviation Today reported that Honeywell will provide a navigation software, flight control technology, and an electric propulsion system, among other pieces of the puzzle. Aston Martin Volante Vision even Aston Martin wants in. In 2018, the British sports car manufacturer introduced a design study named Volante Vision that offered space for three passengers arranged in a triangular configuration. The company noted Rolls-Royce, the plane maker, not the car maker, provided the Volante Vision's powertrain. Aston Martin also partnered with Cranfield University and Cranfield Aerospace Solutions to develop this concept. So far, Aston Martin has released some computer-generated images of the conceptual vehicle and mentioned a vertical takeoff feature for this autonomous hybrid vehicle. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below which one you like the most and why. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.